Here's Bosher to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And here come the Bills. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Throwing on first down is Allen. He's going to walk one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to with you and your brothers. Just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. Allen will try again on second down. Now they go screen. It's complete. He finds an opening past the 40. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Hey, that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space. The big guys leading the way. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. On the tackle that time, Bruce Irvin. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the beat and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets them into a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it with McCoy. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Now they run with a backup. It's Chris Ivory. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now first and 10 at their 36-yard line. some clock with Freeman and unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37 and now defensively they're going to burn their first time out remember they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two minute warning Yes. 
Again, they'll run with Freeman. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. here back at the 41 and now right with a minute 56 to go second and long but you got to figure this almost certainly another run gun, gun, gun. Hey, Tuesday 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 to throw it and his throw is going to be incomplete we've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game really from both teams and there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass an incomplete pass on that last play and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down one of the head coaches you know if you're in this spot why would you throw the ball and he talked about trusting his quarterback and trusting his offense but still and then at the end he kind of went yeah not really a good reason right. <laughs> so a good field position for the bills as they come up first and ten Back to throw. Forced out to his left. Throw left side complete. It's McKenzie. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A gain of six there on first. The clock still runs. We're at 90 seconds now. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They'll look to throw. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. We're down in four after that incompletion on second down. To bring up fourth. Got to be careful here. They need to move quickly, but it's Detroit, also fourth. Detroit! Detroit! All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Hot! Hot! Now, Allen, got to have this one. And he's got his man. It's the tight end play. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll pitch it out to McCoy. And down inside the 15, shot of the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. In position for the possible game winner, but they need to get up and spike it. Keep it on the ground with McCoy. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. So Allen breaks the huddle, and his guys will go for two here. They'll try and run it with McCoy. And he will get into the end zone for the two points, and that helps. That gives him a seven-point lead.